Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And today we're doing something cool. So this is thermochromatic liquid, also known as liquid crystal. So it's like the stuff that mood rings are made from. And I got this one on Amazon for like 25-ish dollars. And I got this one on either AliExpress or Timu or something like that. And I think it was like $5. Significantly different in size. One gram and I think this one's 10 grams. Something like that. Now, I have prepared these nails. I put down a black base. Uh, it's actually a shiny black base, which was not my intent, but it's the one I grabbed off the shelf, and so it's fine, I'm gonna use it. This stuff takes forever to dry, so we're gonna paint it on, and we're gonna watch it dry, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, so I opened this one up, and I haven't actually opened it in a while, and it looks like it created a film, which is disgusting. And so we're gonna take that out, if I can. I might need to get tweezers. But yeah, I just wanted to show you, if yours does this, take it out. I'm gonna let the liquid drip off of it. All right, so this is what it should look like. It's kind of a liquidy texture. We're gonna go in with a bigger brush to be able to paint it on though. Just gonna back that up so we can see a little bit. And I am not left-handed, so I'm about to hold this brush like this. <laughs> and we'll just dip it in there. Now, I find that the type of product you put it on the type of base coat or polish that you put it on can make a difference in the result you get. The thickness you put it on can make a difference. The temperature that the room is can make a difference. Like this stuff, I have not been able to get consistent results because everything seems to make a difference. I want it to not pull up in the back, but like what? Try and clean this up a little bit. Now, I'm gonna tell you it's kind of weird what it does to your brush. So like when you dip this in acetone, it's gonna get like gummy. So you're gonna have to peel it out. See? You can kinda see that one. Disgusting, so I don't have to clean that up. Let's go in with some more over here. I'm gonna try and do this one a little bit different so we can get some experiment going. Maybe we do this one in more of a blotched design. Let's see how that affects that one drying. This one's just got a thin coat, which it doesn't appear to be doing a whole lot yet. This is a little bit excessive over here. I'm gonna wipe some of that off. All right, let's do another thin coat to start on this one. And then I'm gonna try and get some more and see if I can spread it on there in somewhat of an even fashion. It's not as blotchy as that other one, but it doesn't seem to be easy to do. Like I'm not really trying to pile it on, but that's what's happening. It's gonna take forever to dry. I know that much. I think that's as even as I can get it in its thickness. Take that extra off. So here's what we've got so far. That one seems to be trying to pull up over there. This one, this pinky, like you can see it drying, but it's so streaky. We're probably gonna have to put some more on there. Let's try and just do another thin layer on this one so it'll match over there. And it'll probably be a two coater. All right, and then for the thumb, I'm gonna do the blotch method again. All right, and then I'll let me clean that up. Ooh, oh, those ones started running while I wasn't paying attention. Let's see if we can get some of that smoothed back out. Let me clean this excess off. And then this one was the blotch one. So I'm gonna try and put that back on here. All right, so. These are gonna take a while to dry, probably 10 or so minutes. I'll check in as we go and see what we get. All right, so I just wanted to check in and show you the progress. So now like this one, I hope you're able to see it. I'm gonna try and zoom it in. I'm trying to show it to you without these other ones being obstructive. All right, so 
you can see where it's drying and then there's streaks in between the drying spots but it's got this green tint and that is one of the colors that it can become and so we're going to continue to let these dry I do think this one is going to need another layer though, but that is okay. And then for these, I find because they are trying to run, that it helps to hold your hand like this while it's drying so that it's pulling towards the middle and not necessarily the side, like see this one's trying to get over there again, and I keep having to wipe it out of the cuticles where it's running to. This one's doing something weird. It's drying, but these thicker areas are taking a little bit longer. I hope that was in the camera. I know I'm moving a lot. There we go. You see? Yeah. So we'll check in again in a minute. All right, let's have another little check in. This one is starting to look a lot like this one. And these are starting to dry down as well. Of course, the thicker spots take longer. And this guy is making it a well. You see the green, and this one's got some red in it. So that's pretty interesting. I think we're going to go ahead and this, at this time put that other layer on here. I just want it to be kind of smooth and it's not trying to cooperate. Okay, whatever. We'll leave it like that. <laughs> Alright, let's check in again. So we're making progress. These three are mostly dry. That one's got a little bit left to do. And this one's coming along. Of course, the thicker areas are taking longer. But you can see we're getting some color variation. And then this guy is doing all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty cool. We'll give it a few more minutes so hopefully this one can finish up. All right, let's check in again. This pinky is almost dry. These are getting greener and greener. This one's still a little bit red, but look at this guy. This one's doing the most. He's got a blue, a green, a yellow. Very cool. Thermochromatics are weird. <laughs> Hopefully these will get on board. And once it's dry, I'm gonna go around the edges with this silver and make like a bit of a frame. This is from Nails Inc. It is called Wherever I Make Chrome. And so I'm wanting to put it on like a squiggly mirror frame. We've only got a little bit more time for that one to be dry. All right, so that one's just almost dry, but I am ready to go in and start putting some framing on these and this one's still doing its rainbow thing i'm gonna use this little brush this end is the 11 millimeter and so let's see if we can do this without making a terrible mess let's zoom in a little bit and it doesn't have to be straight because i'm kind of going for that abstracty wiggly like liquid metal type frame. Wish I could see what I was doing over here. That would be really handy. We're doing it. We're doing it. Not so bad. There we go. That's cute, right? I like it. Let me do it around the others. All right. So I think that's pretty cute. I'm gonna clean up around the edges and then we'll prepare for top coat. So I think that's dried down as good as it's gonna get for now. Zoom this out a little bit. We're gonna go in and we're gonna put some top coat. We're gonna do the Orly Polish Shield. Now, you're going to see a reaction. Top coat will make this turn really dark, but I believe that once it's dried out, it's going to return to its moodiness, but we will find out. Look at that one go. You can already see it changing. It's pretty neat though, right? Let's do the others. Very cool. Alright, checking in. It is drying. As you can see, this one's starting to get a little bit green. They are lightening up a little bit. The thumb still has some of its color. But I just wanted to show you how it's going. Like, it is dry enough to touch, but I think it is going to take a moment to really settle down, and then we're going to experiment with some temperatures. So I think that's pretty good. They've returned back to their weird color. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to apply some heat sources. 
So, for example, if we were to wrap this in our hand so that our body has a chance to heat it up, let's see. My finger is actually really cold. I can feel it with this hand. Aha! We've turned it blue and peeled up some of our top coat. Apparently it was not good and dry. But look how quickly it's changing back. Let me back that up so you can see. Yeah, see? It's cooling. It's freezing in here. I'm going to breathe on this one. I would like to be able to do it where you can see it, but also I can get to it because it doesn't stay. Yeah, when I do it, it changes them, but then it immediately goes back because it's so cold in here. Let's see. If I push this here, will it leave a mark? A little bit. Let's cover them up. Ooh, look, that part wasn't touching my skin, and so it's still a color. So, I mean, it's working. It's pretty cool. Um, if you were to be outside in the sun, I imagine that could affect it. It's interesting how this one's got this splotchy bit there. I like it. What do you guys think? It's a whole lot of fun. I wonder how different varying temperatures of water would affect it. I bet the same way. So if you're like washing your hands or doing the dishes or whatever, your nails may come out different and that's fun. Look at it, just even in the time we've been talking, it's been changing and losing the blue. It's going through the green. Get us back to that brownie yellow, but like, I guess that's for the temperature it is in here. Anyway, I am gonna leave this liquid in the description if you wanna get some and try it out. It's a lot of fun. And if you can apply it in a design, you could have some pretty cool stuff. I am not talented enough for that yet, but maybe one day. But that's it. I am going to let you guys get out of here. Thank you for all of your interactions. As you know, it does help the algorithm. Please make sure you are leaving me a like if you like this video and be subscribed. That way you're not missing my content. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.